Who do we play as in Secret of the Mimic? The gameplay demo for Secret of the Mimic has been available at PAX West, but the actual game is not coming out till 2025. There's one question on the top of my mind that I think needs answering more than anything else. And that is who we actually play as in Secret of the Mimic. So there's a couple of ways to look at it. The most obvious is that through the FNAF franchise, through the eyes of Scott Cawthon, we've played a lot as Michael Afton and even William Afton. But once Steel Wool got involved, we started playing as new characters, Gregory, Cassie. So it says to me that there are four options of who we play as. Number one, William Afton. Now I say that because we're actually going back to the year 1979. And this is when we're talking about things such as Fred Bear's Family Diner and Fall Fest. And although William was definitely around at that time, I can't see him being the main protagonist of this game. I don't think Scott or the Steel Wool team would give away that much lore and that much about William in one go. The biggest giveaway to me is that during the gameplay demo, those that were lucky enough to play it looked at their hands and they weren't typical virtual reality hands. They were technicians' gloves. Now, from what little we know about Henry, Emily, and Fazbear's at this point in time, William would not have been getting his hands dirty. He would not have been hands-on with the animatronics. That was more Henry's forte. So it says to me, if we are playing as a technician, it is going to be someone else. Enter my second option. Edwin Murray. Now, this has been a very popular opinion throughout the internet. A lot of people think that this will be Edwin's great introduction into the game canon. Hard disagree. You all know my stance on separating the games from the books and having everything in their own pocket universes, but putting my personal opinions aside and just thinking about where Edwin would sit in this timeline, let me paint it this way. We would have two identical characters. If Edwin Murray were to enter the game, that means that we would have Henry as a technician genius and Edwin as a technician genius. We would have Henry working for Fazbear at the same time that Edwin worked for Fazbear. We would have Henry creating animatronics and new technologies at the same time Edwin is creating animatronics and new technologies. Edwin lost a child, Henry lost a child. They're both grieving, they're both trying to rebuild the past, Honestly, taking two identical characters and implementing them into the one timeline, it's absolutely toxic. I can't see Scott doing it. And I firmly believe that Edwin Murray is meant to be a parallel to Henry or Henry a parallel to Edwin. But I think the prior is more likely. And with all this talk about Henry Emily, could he be our protagonist? Absolutely, there is every possibility that we may play as Henry Emily in this game. And it wouldn't be that much of a leap because Henry has already appeared in vocal form and sort of in the background in FNAF 6. The technician gloves would make sense with Henry. He would be the one working on the animatronics if something were to go wrong. That makes a lot of sense to me. And another funny little point is that in the book, The Mimic, Edwin loses his son. He makes the mimic. The mimic starts mimicking his son. He beats the heck out of it, and then he jogs off for a while. It's not until many years later that Edwin realizes the error of his ways, comes back and tries to fix what he has done. Now, if I'm correct in assuming that Edwin Murray is a parallel to Henry Emily in this case, I believe the story that we are seeing in Secret of the Mimic could very well be Henry Emily returning to the site, returning to the shutdown Fredbear's family diner location to take on the mimic and right the wrongs of the past. However, as I said at the beginning of the video, Steel Wool is no stranger to actually introducing new characters. And although I would see it as a bit of a cop out and a bit of a lazy way to get around the narrative, we could play as the fourth option, a brand new character to the series. It is entirely possible with all the times we've played as a random night guard or a random security guard to have us play as a new technician. Somebody that is familiar with Fazbear's and for whatever reason is going into the remnants of the previous location. Once again, I think that would be narratively weak with all the lore reveals and character connections that Steel Wool has given us in these latest games. I'm leaning heavily towards Henry Emily. I believe that we will be playing as Henry Emily in this 
game, not a new technician, not William Afton, and most certainly not Edwin Murray. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. I will see you in the next one.